You already answered a few of my questions earlier, but um, uh, can you just like say your name and uh, and where you're from, just for the purposes? Yeah. So uh, my name is Walter Lai. I'm from Bentonhurst. I was born in Manhattan, but I grew up here my entire life. I moved like three times since I was a kid. Once I was from like 79th Street, then to uh, 81st Street. I don't know if you know where the church is near Bay Parkway. Mm -hmm. So I was like right near there. And then when I was like in, I don't know, middle school, I moved to 80th Street. And uh, what, what what region is your family from in China? Just uh, from, yeah, Canton, Guangzhou. Uh, and what language do does your, do your parents speak at uh, Cantonese. Mm -hmm. I was, um, and my nanny was uh, Toisanese, like the language I was telling you about before, like it's related to Cantonese. You can understand most of it, but a lot of my friends are mostly Cantonese or Toisanese speaking. Can you just restate what you said earlier about the history? That was interesting about how the first immigrants oh, spoke. Yeah. Uh... yeah, yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm also doing a research project on like New York's immigrant groups and I think the original, like the earliest Chinese immigrants, they were like mostly single males like who spoke Toisanese mm -hmm. who came to America and then like after something like something politically happened in America like when they started allowing more immigrants in after like World War Two, and that's when like Cantonese speakers came and like Mandarin speakers came. And um, how, how important is food to your family? Um, yeah, it's very, very important yeah. in terms of like culture, you right. Mean, right? Do you guys eat dinner together pretty much every day? Yeah, yeah. We, we don't. You don't usually take out. We like yeah. we usually cook at home. And is there like a specific cuisine that you would say you have that is like re specific to your region or like that, or is it just whatever you can make? Well, there's always rice. Right. Um, I guess. Yeah, there's no specific, mm -hmm. no specific. But like, for example, some of the restaurants in 86th Street, they're they're more Cantonese oriented rather than, a, like, you know, Sichuan or something like that. Yeah, right? yeah. Because when you go in there, they have certain dishes. Yeah, there's always like a yeah. standardized like. Right. There's always um. There's always a the lobster. There's always the mm -hmm. seafood. But we don't usually eat that much. Right. Like only for family gatherings. Right. But yeah, it is important in that. Yeah, I guess it's most important just in terms of family, just yeah. you know, speaking with each other. But I don't really. I mean, we we just eat, you know, meat, fish. Mm -hmm. It's no yeah. special way to cook it. You like steam yeah. it. And um, how how important is it to to your parents that you're brought up in the, the same culture that they're from? I guess it's it's important. So my sister recently had um, a child, uh -huh. right? so my nephew, and even like her husband, he's like from Philippines, so he doesn't know how to speak like Chinese. But like even like the whole family was very concerned about making the new children like speak in Cantonese. Mm -hmm. But other than like the cultures, like practicing, 